Yo there guys, what's good? Welcome back to the Ultima RTG. And in today's video, we have some massive upgrades. I know they look a little weird and it could be quite different to the normal teams that you see, but I wanna take the side in another direction. I wanna have some fun with it, see if we can compete in the weekend league. In the right wing position, we've still got some issues that I'll go over in a second. But the Arsenal investments we've got rid of, we cashed out, sold into the hype. And if you're gonna ask me, Fuj, are you gonna be doing the SBC? the player of the month for Bamiyang, probably, but I'll treat it similar to when I did Hazard, which was later in the month. I'll still get his loan card and test it out, so I'm looking forward to that. And on top of all of that, we have a new promo coming, 6 p.m. tonight. EA released on Twitter, a little winky face, dynamic items, Champions League. And it was only the other day that we were speaking about how many versions of these Champions League cards there are, like premium SBC, SBC, one to watch, live items, you know so what's going to be released tonight are the live champions league cards so they're going to act as one to watches so similar to the path to glory promo that's what i'm getting from it so tonight it could be a little bit dead if it's just opening up packs to pack them but what this means in the future, they could be releasing those repeatable SBCs. And everybody loves that type of promo when they've released one to watch cards, Halloween in the future, or in the past, sorry. You know, it's just good fun to sit down and just keep re-rolling to see what you get. So boys, leave a like on today's video if you are enjoying the series. And if you haven't seen the pack opening yesterday from our foot division rivals and also foot champ rewards, go and check it out. It's on the channel. I did add it to the playlist. So these three were the team of the week cards that i picked up i just had to get rid of them i was i was finding myself struggling to make the last purchase for this team you're gonna find out who it is in just a second so ibrahimovic he sold for 5009 carl walker that we picked up for 67,000, did go for 84 what i should have done the other day is sold like most of my car or what no what i should have done is got rid of everything at the club even though it was at an all-time low but then use those coins to invest in players like sanchez for 18 19 000, then just quickly sold him on the next day for 31 000. so th th that was the best time to buy not yesterday the day before we got mikatarian that sold for 5002 socrates shemichael's finally praise the lord he's gone i picked him up for about one 2003 and he was sat there for ages uh, i cashed out for 2004 but with uh, this promo or oh, champions league live you know with, with these cards they could in fact release an spc tonight who knows but uh, my my guess is that they're just going to focus on the packs first uh, and in the future if they do drop it that will mean maybe 83s and 84s will go up in price we'll have to monitor the market but jonas when uh, kagawa 800 this was just me being desperate and trying to sell as much as i could uh, last night but ramsey he sold for 1006 i picked him up for about 650 700 because shell 1008 check 1002 uh, lamina you know that was a bit of a risk that we bought for 1005 so sold him on for 2005 so we actually had at the, at the time quite a few coins and i accidentally listed up this cater for a minimum start price so yeah we had actually quite a few coins uh yesterday so i want to go and show you some upgrades that we've made you can give me some ideas for that right wing position i don't really want to use suso he doesn't do enough but who have we bought two big players Let's check it out. So there you can see it. The two big signings that we have made. The first one, obviously, is Sergio Ramos. 261,000 coins. The other day, he was 230. But with the market going up, we've had to go with the flow. And his stats are pretty damn good. Has he already scored a goal? Yeah, four games, one goal, one assist. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to bring him in as well. So I could attack the ball from corners. But fantastic defending, physical, and pace. The other guy is Sergio Busquets. I'm not kidding. I've actually made this signing ultimate scream. The next time when his card is going to go through that shape shift and his stats will change is towards the end of the month. So I'm going to use him for this weekend, test him out, see what he can do, and then get rid of the guy. We did buy him for 180,000. Three games, no goals, one assist. His pace, you do notice. The awareness and his marking is very, very good and his interceptions, the passing, the stand tackle. I was actually pretty impressed with him and he's got 86 stamina so i'm really looking forward to just uh using the card this weekend i know it's a little bit different let's see how he can perform alongside alan in the cdm positions uh verdi in the right wing just to get a little bit of chemistry right now i've been trying suso in division 
two. Uh, five games, no no goals, one assist. I just can't get anything out from the card. I don't have that like belief and confidence in the guy that I can drive forward, skip past like one or two players, and then take a shot and score. I don't know what it is, man. I actually prefer Lucas to do that. Felipe Anderson was another one that I tried yesterday. Two games, three goals, and that was coming off the bench. He feels okay. Like I think that in the weekend league, when the gameplay is really smooth, he could be awesome for us. High tie work rates, his stamina is okay to be brought off the bench. I'm going to keep him as an impact sub for sure. So I was happy that we pulled him from the uh, weekly rewards. Another player, which was uh, Jao Mario and his passing, he actually made a really good assist in the one game that I did play him in. So I'll keep an eye out on that. If, if it comes down to like... Uh, us not liking the team in the weekend league or something like that or Sergio Busquets not performing or, or we go through uh, one of those funny five minutes where we decide to sell Hernandez, Ramos and Busquets and just cash out then I can always fall back to Jao Mario and then go back to maybe uh, Syria side because we do still have untradeable Cancelo at the club. The other purchase that we made, which was DeMarcos, 26,500. He's been pretty good to be fair, but I haven't noticed him that much. Like when I was using Valencia, uh, Valencia, even though he was making mistakes, I would notice him getting quite a few tackles in. Whereas DeMarcos, maybe it's a good thing though. Like he hasn't really done anything too crazy, but I don't think I've seen him being caught for pace or anything like that. So I'm actually really enjoying the defense right now. Adan's just in there because he's, he's all right he's not so bad it's just really like the issue that i have i want to continue using mertens i want to obviously use hazard but i just can't get these guys into a full chem side if i'm wanting to create a three league hybrid and that's really what it comes down to uh, it comes down to the suarez we will use for maybe one more weekend and see how we can uh how we can play are we going to be able to get elite two with this side i know it looks a little bit ridiculous right now but yeah we're going through just a, a weird phase right now i want to test out some of these ultimate screen cards and see how they can perform and with the promo that is going to be released later today that champions league one is it going to be the case where those first batch of champions league cards will they drop in price if they've received a one to watch version so don't go panic selling just yet, but keep that in mind if you have just gone on the market and spent God knows how much for a minimal upgrade. Be careful with that. Maybe it's best if you should just sell now though. Personally, if I had Champions League cards, I'd get rid of them, seriously. But that's up to you. It's coming out at six o'clock, so keep an eye out and maybe make up your mind then. But let's get into some uh, weekend league games. No, let's not. Let's not go and play the weekend league just yet, man. I haven't even really been testing out this side. So these are my custom tactics still. I've got my players uh, positioning like that. So Suarez, Striker, Mertens, Cam. I think I'll warm up first. I'll see how I feel in Division Rivals with this side. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to find any games in Division 2 right now. Oh, God. What does that mean? Foot champs. Should we go into it right now with this team? I haven't really been playing that well, but let's clutch up let's do it game number one and that's actually a really nice team damn he's either really good or he's got incredibly lucky with those weekly picks wow that's a strong side Busquets the pace from Busquets that's it tackle higher up the pitch keep that pressure on I think this guy's panicking right now birdie yes Hazard Suarez it's gonna peel off his man yes back post birdie all right I'm getting rid of him what a tackle from Jordi Alba. Out wide. You knew it was coming. First time. Oh, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. Sergio Busquets has just missed a sitter. Suarez does feel better today, though, I must admit. Now, that was good dribbling. Hazard. Mm, don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Because it does that dumb animation. You know, when you start, like, flying through the air? Well, I do. Mertens, there it is. He's popped it. 
and that's the goal. Yo, is he going to quit? Ooh, first game, rage quit, 1-0. And he's gone. First game, rage quit, just the way we like it. Before we get too carried away, let's rewind just a little bit. That bus gets missed was actually unacceptable. If it was Allen in that position or Fred or somebody like that, they would have put the ball in the back of the net. No questions asked, right? And Busquets with his finishing 98, attack position 99, the shot power 89. What was the reason that that didn't go in? He is right footed. So I, I can't explain, I don't know. But when you're looking at what he's doing in the middle of the pitch, like tackling, positioning and stuff, it makes up for it. So I'm still enjoying Busquets, but in front of goal, I expect just a little bit more. But stamina is all good. Right boys, let's move into game two. Match two, why so serious? Because it's foot champs and I wanna win. Yo, is that just a full Man City team? Yeah, yeah. Do I take off Verdi already? Mm, maybe not, maybe not. Hold on, give him a chance. Yep, take him off. Oh, Mertens, was that Busquets with that interception? No, that's Mertens. Oh, the most overpowered player in the game. Alan, win that. Yes. Birdie. Give it back to him, Mertens. He, yeah, Mertens will always get onto that. Penalty, no? Finally, after 21 minutes of playing, I brought on Felipe Anderson instead of Verdi. Just because, like, Anderson's going to be the better player. And already, oh, he nearly assisted. I wanted that ball to go to Mertens, though, and it went back post instead. He hasn't really done much going forward. He's just kept a very, very strong defense in this 4-2-3-1. Uh, but it will come. I just got to make sure I play the correct ball through. And again, Mertens, there it is. But that wasn't the correct ball. It was a little bit lucky with the rebounds and stuff, but I need that fortune. Awesome. Flipper Anderson. Mertens. Anderson. He's got the long shots, man. Can I set the shot, though? That's the question. I'm trying my best. Fantastic dribbling. And then Mertens. Nah, I told you. This guy is a good defender. I, I know that he's got everyone behind the ball and stuff, but that's his style, and it's working for him right now. I just can't, like, too many bodies in the way. Oh, too many bodies, bro. These stats aren't lying. At halftime... We've seen a lot of possession in the first half. Eight shots, five on target. He's got a lot of players behind the ball. I think he's trying to play counter-attack, but he's not moving the ball as quick. So I think he's playing to lose right now. Busquets though on the track back. De Marcos, De Marcos with an unbelievable interception. And Suarez isn't, isn't gonna miss that time shot. A cross goal. That was a bullet. But the Marcos, clean, precise, breaks up the play before my opponent gets on the counter attack. And just like that, 2 0. I see Busquets. Now we're 2 0 up. Busquets wants to start playing those balls through. That was such a bad shot. He could have got an assist, though. And he's got the vision to be doing stuff like that. Wow, I moved my keeper. Oh, beautiful. Do you know what, right? This Felipe Anderson, I was using him uh, yesterday in Division 2, and he scored a hat-trick in his first game when I brought him off the bench. His finishing is actually class. Because of, of probably the shot power and stuff like that, and his an actual finishing stat is 79, but he is finding the back of the net quite consistently. Apart from that huge mistake where I passed it over to his player, I thought I played it over to my left center back, but maybe it was my fault. I'm, I'm not really so sure now. But looking back at the goals that we scored and how we commanded the midfield, that was sick. More of the same. Let's go and smash it. Come on. Give me the 3-0 in today's episode. Damn, this ball was rebounding all over the place. Jesus, yeah, it's it's a bit of a weird one, this. Oh, Ramos, that's why you got him there defending the crosses. Well played. This guy is pretty good at defending. Damn, that's a good pass. He's cut me open with that one. Yeah, he's a decent defender. I might have to just throw a few more players going forward. I'll do that at halftime, though. I'll play how I am in the first half, and then I'll make changes at halftime. Go, 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 go. That's it. Hazard. There it is. Good finish, Hazard. Back into the game. Awesome reply. Yeah, he's pushing me, man. He's closing me down. Decent player. Does feel just a little bit sloppy though right now. Busquets. Ah, oh, come on. 
Good. Back post. No! Where did Baye come from? I thought that was going to be a clean cross. See, this guy, he doesn't actually defend. He's just uh, tracking, like, marking somebody else. Yes. What a player. Felipe Anderson has been insane. He is going to be someone who will start for the side. Oh, he's, he's pushed me. Mertens. Fit it through, fit it through. You've got so much space. 3-1. <sighs> Important goal against this guy. He's using a lot of the AI to defend. Like, he'll take his CDM, he'll mark the pass, but then he just get his AI to stand in front of me. We're finding a way through, and it's all over. I didn't think he was going to be the type of person to quit, though. He started off really well, defending in his 4-2-3-1. He got that counter-attacking goal, but we controlled the game again. And that's what it's coming down to, making sure we control the midfield. So we've got off to a really good start so far in the weekend league, 3-0. And I need to make one slight change to this side. Felipe Anderson, is there a way I can bring him into the starting 11 so I don't have to keep making that sub straight away? Because it's annoying. I don't really care bringing him, off, bringing him off the bench, receiving like 6.2 chemistry. He's smashing it for me. Five games, five goals. Like he feels really clinical in front of goal, outside the box, inside the dribbling. He's performing a lot better in the weekend league than he was doing for me in division two. But that's just rivals for you. And that's why I'm not a big fan of the game mode. Uh, looking at like um, how I could start, maybe like that. Now he's on five chem hazard. Maybe a little switch up to the formation. Like I say, if you've got any ideas, please do make me the team and send it over to me on Twitter or just type it out in the comment section. That'd be really helpful. But Busquets, believe it or not, he's actually smashing it for me. Ignore the miss in the first game. Holding it down, passing, tackling, pace. I'm actually comfortable using Busquets. And I know you're going to say, well, Fuji, he's got a lot of pace and that's what you like. Yeah, I know. But the interceptions are mad and just the way he's actually defending he, he's like one of those perfect CDMs. Like you look at Casemiro with strong tackles. Um, who else is like a typically slow defender, but just very good at tackling? Uh, maybe Fabinho, Matic, and then add pace to that. Like they've already got the quality and they're so strong. So Busquets is awesome. Uh, DeMarcos in the right back position. This guy has a really nice way about him. Very controlled when he's going in for tackles, uh, positioning, and when he's stepping up at the, at the right time, it's just causing my opponents way too much trouble. And he's assisting as well, just getting the ball down the line. I'm actually liking it. So yeah, he's decent. And for his price, 26,500 that I bought him for, fairly cheap, affordable, you can go and check him out. And Sergio Ramos is actually awesome alongside Hernandez. So I'm loving the team right now. But like I said, I want to make just that change to try and get Hernandez, uh, sorry, Felipe Anderson Hernandez. No, that's because of uh, Lucas Hernandez. I want to get him into the team on kind of full chemistry or however much I'm getting when I bring him off the bench. But boys, that's where we're going to end it. I will see you later tonight on stream. On the RTG, we're going to be playing our games. We've got the promos coming out. We've got Player of the Month of Bamiang, all that good stuff. Leave a like, and I'll see you there. Take care. Team out. Peace.